welcome to the Oxon Photography. We're still in Spain, we're still in landscape nature photography. And right now the main subject is the balcony of Europe. It's the platform you see in the background with the windows on the side. And it's the main center of this town, Necha. So of course I want to take some pictures of it. And I'm, I, I've chosen a platform, I'm standing on a rock right now. Why am I standing on a rock? Because I want to have I want to have some depth in the picture and I can get it by being above the normal level. So when I take a picture now, um, vertically, I can get a beautiful view over the beach. I can have the balcony of Europe in the picture and the sky. So you get a feeling. Now what's also nice is, the sun is on this side, so there is my light source and it's shining into this direction. So everything is lit even. So I do not have to worry about a flash, dynamic range, everything is lit even. And so I can easily take some pictures. If I would take some pictures into this direction, it's a total different scenario because there's the sun and I will not get a blue sky because it's too bright. And here is a rock, I, I take some pictures in a moment, and it's too dark, so there is a lot of dynamic range and I will have problems uh, getting everything well in a photograph. So I'm shooting in, into this direction. I want the sky on the picture, I want the water on the picture, I want these, the, the, the green on the picture. So I took, took some wide shots, it's the 1855mm lens. And I will also zoom in. So you can see a little bit more details. Okay, now we've photographed the main subject, which is the balcony of Europe. What I'm going to do now is I want to take some pictures of the surroundings. Let's say I'm standing on a rock, so I'm taking pictures of this rock. I was shooting in, um, in AV mode, which means the aperture I can select, ISO 100. I, I was shooting at F10 to F13, so everything is sharp. ISO 100 to get the best noise-free image quality. And the camera decides the rest, the shutter speed. Now I'm going to M mode, manual, because here is more sunlight and I want to control the picture myself. Okay, like this. I'm at F9, one for hundredth of a second. So there's one person swimming in the water. I just take a picture of it. And what I also like is only the water. The water and the sky. So you have a very clean, very, a, a picture full of harmony, very calm. Now I take the same situation with these rocks. And now I'm shooting into the sun. I have a really nice rock here. But I will have problems with dynamic range, which means that the rock is very dark because there are the shadows and there is the sun, so the sky is very bright. So I have to decide now. I can, if I want the the sky to be blue, I try it. So now the sky is blue, but everything in the foreground is very dark, or I want the foreground to be well lit, but then the sky is white. Okay. Okay, I'm turning the camera so you can see the rest of, of the scenery. And I want to take some pictures of this side as well. Mm -hmm. 
So, so what I do now is I zoom in to find more details in the scene. So this is the scenario, this is the scene, and I try to capture as many different types as possible so I, so I can describe the scene with the pictures. And you see, I, I work as I go. I move a little bit, I look in the camera, and then I decide what I want to take a picture of. So, photography is always some kind of improvisation. And to me it always works. Okay, so I have the Canon T2i, the 550D, very cheap camera, very cheap lens. I have beautiful light coming from the sun and giving me great light over the whole scenery. And so with any camera I can take great pictures. I can take great pictures with my phone because the scenery is nice. And that is what you want. You want to find a place that helps you create beautiful pictures. You don't want to fight the place. You don't want to work against it, you want to work with it. So I'm not shooting into this direction, I'm shooting into this direction because the sun is helping me with the light when I shoot into this direction. You want great light, easily great pictures, then get the sun behind you for landscape photography. That's it.